Jodie, lovely to meet you. Thank you for coming today. Absolute pleasure. I'm very, very excited. Beautiful day at EJ Church and shooting ground. Is indeed. What's your background with shooting? What's your experience level? I've done lots of clips. Even my dad used to have one where I was brought up on our farm. Okay. You know, it's been kind of like in the family. And I've done some competitions, charity competitions, yeah, of course. not like professional like competitions. Yeah, simulated days. Yes, yep, exactly. Perfect. But not for a while. Okay. So I'm probably very, very rusty. Perfect. But love it, really love it. I've never had a lesson, so okay. I've probably got really bad habits. I'm normally both eyes open, okay. but I've been told many times that when I keep missing them, which happens quite a lot, I should probably learn to close the left eye. Fine, okay. All of these things, but as I said, I've never had a lesson, so I'm all ears. Perfect, so that's going to be a good start. Yeah. We'll have a little bit of a look at you with the gun, we'll talk about your eyes, we'll yeah. then get you warmed up on some basic stuff. Deal with things as they crop up, so okay. any questions you've got at any point, just ask. Yep. Try and enjoy yourself and uh, we'll see what you can do. See, there's nothing in the gun. Yes, nothing Empty in the gun. gun. If you could close that up for me, yes. mount the gun with both eyes open. Yes. And let me have a little look. So, although you're right, master eye, the way you're mounting and holding the gun is going to cause you some big problems. So your stance is a little bit off, and that's causing neither of your eyes to be centered down the gun. Yeah, so no, if you I can actually kind of see that. Yeah, if you shut, do what you were doing now and just shut your left eye, you'll see that you weren't yeah, actually looking the... down the barrel. Yeah. So now, if I can just take the weight of the gun and get you sitting with the gun a little bit lower in the shoulder pocket, yeah. and rather than having your head rolled over at the back of the stock, I actually want you to stretch your neck out, so you're going to get into, that's it. Cheek closer to your knuckles, that's fine. Oh my God, I can see both. And now your right eye is absolutely banged down the center of the gun. You're now gonna have a much better chance of hitting targets, okay? Let's go and do some shooting. In you get. Thank you very much. So, I don't know whether you can see, you can probably see better than me over the top of that wall. Yes, I can. Um, I'm tower. slightly nervous that there's a cameraman in front You're, of us. So. I mean, <laughs> we've only killed two or three of them during this series, so. We've got a tower up in front of us. We're going to shoot yes. a driven target. So that's something that's coming off the tower, over the top of your head. Okay. Um, mimics a driven pheasant, yep. um, hence the term driven. Yeah. Good opportunity for you to start just pulling the trigger. Okay. Let's have a little bit of a look at what you're you're doing from a starting point. My bad habits. And we'll take it for that. I'm sure you'll be fine. Yeah. Go on, you're going to have a question then? Yeah, no, about weight. Because so normally I'm always... Reasonably, thought, reasonably neutral. Reasonably neutral. Yeah, so because I was always a little bit on... Yeah, and that's absolutely fine. So again, when you're shooting more instinctively off the front foot where you're going to be shooting lower driven like your grouse targets. Right. That's an advantage because you don't stable. want to be on your, your back foot lifting your head up. But yep. if you come to proportionally higher targets, if you keep a lot of weight over your front foot, you're going to lock up at about or halfway through the, the swing. You just can't get any further. Yeah, okay. And therefore you stop the gun and you tend to miss out the back. Okay. Okay. Slow, steady mount. Start behind the bird. Yeah. Nice, long, relaxed draw through in your own time. All right. Pull. Perfect. Killed it. Right. Generate a bigger lead on the higher target. Yeah. Yeah. You need to let the shot develop longer so you have a longer drive through. You've got a lot more time and space. I want you to get comfortable with the idea of when you've got time and space, using it. Start behind. Good shot. Bit behind. Yeah, perfect. Absolutely fine. So when you miss with a controlled move, it will be much easier for you to understand where you've missed rather than just punching a spot in space. Got it. And then when it doesn't work, you'll be like, mm, where was that? Okay, go okay. again. Stay here. Yeah. And when I take my hand away, I'm going to allow you to move the gun. What this is going to do is going to show you how much more time you've got to let the bird go past your barrel. Okay. Okay, so here right. it comes. I don't got, like that. You've still got <laughs> loads of time. It shows you that even if you start what you consider to be far too late, got it. you've still got time to come through. Out the back, big push through. Yep. Everything's looking good. Risk what you think driving through the target too far is. As your gun's coming up, you're starting underneath the bird and pushing through, and that's the exact thing that we're trying to get you to do. Previously, you're inserting the gun yeah. in front of the target, and because you've started behind, yeah. you've forced yourself to accelerate the gun through, and yeah. those two shots, you accelerated the gun through the target far better than you were before. Yeah. That is the objective. If you look on the screen now, you'll be able to see exactly what's just happened. That'll be really clear for you. And sometimes when you rechange something, 
you, and you do it and you do it and you do it and you're just you're getting the right movement but it's not until you kind of step away exactly take five ten minutes when you try and do something different the focus has to be on learning a new process yeah. and that's completely completely normal when you focus on learning a new process you'll often find that the, the movement themselves feel a bit wooden yeah. they're not quite as fluid as before yeah the whole reason that you practice and you practice and you practice so we go through those 10 15 20 shots of actively trying to get to do something different yeah is then when you start letting your hands go a bit you can just you can just start coming through it. You're coming through. You can see yeah. how far you are in front of the bird. Yeah. Bang. That's the movement. That's the process that we're looking for. Okay. Perfect. Well done. Brilliant. Okay, Jody. So we're up on the raised platform, which I don't think you've ever shot before. No, I haven't. Completely different setup here. Yeah. Um, for a couple of reasons, you're shooting targets underneath your feet. Yep. If you keep a normal, reasonably upright stance here, you'll find that your head comes away from the gun, and you end up missing height. Okay. Got it. So the okay. first thing I want you comfortable with is just a little weight over your front foot, and just think okay. of hinging from your hips ever so slightly. It's not an exaggerated. That's perfect. Okay. That's just going to keep your weight over your front foot and your head on the gun. The target is a what we call a quartering bird. So it's quartering away. It's going from right to left and going away from you. Mm -hmm. It's actually not particularly fast, although it looks quick because of the background on it. The key here is start just behind the bird, come through the line, and as you come to the front edge of the target, pull the trigger and keep moving. You shouldn't need to see lead here. Okay. It's just going to be movement of the gun and a little bit of hand to -like coordination. Okay. Okay. Let's have a go. Let's give it a go. Better. You hit that one? Yep. Good. Yeah. Woohoo! Yeah, that's it. <laughs> if, you could try, if we could try and coax some excitement out of No, I know. Good. I'm computing. I'm going, right, okay, what did I do that was different? Yep. Gun positioning your shoulder was much better. Yeah. Waiting for the bird Wait. to go. Yes. Going from the back of the target, nice and smooth. And as you come to the bottom edge of the bird, just pull the trigger. Really good. Let's go again. No, we're almost trying, when you get the gun higher, to get your head into it like this. Yeah. The problem with that, the reason I'm getting it to sit lower in your shoulder is all yeah. the recoil is going into a really small area there. Rather than trying to stay completely upright and rolling your head over, yeah. it's actually getting into the gun a little bit more, so you're going to have a bit more, bit more of a stretch into the stock. So you're going to try and get your nose a bit closer to your knuckle, rather than, rather than trying to over. stay upright and roll your head ah, over. Because okay. when, you put the, say, when you put the gun that high in your shoulder, yeah. obviously there's less distance for your head to go, but you then get all of the recoil force going through the toe, and that's why you'll start getting uncomfortable get quite quickly. Yeah, wow, totally. That's perfect. Okay. And that will feel much more solid. Yeah, it does, totally. Oh, I should do oh, this. Oh, wow. Job. <laughs> that's great. Excellent. Okay. For two shots now, as an experiment, yes. I deliberately Lower say, you know head. what, I'm going to shoot maybe a foot lower than I think I have to. Yeah. You look 10 times better now. In With the head going yeah, forward. Yeah, really, really good. So that's yeah. great. Now, get everything else the same. Still keep the left eye shut. Yeah. Still don't move early when you hear the trap. You yeah. move when you see the target beat the gun. But I want these shots to go what low. you think is too low on the target. Yeah. And we'll see what happens. <laughs> OK, fair enough. I'll give you that. That was low. <laughs> <laughs> Point taken. Okay, four. Perfect. Okay. That was a brilliant shot. I just got to get that, the... That shot was literally 100% in every way. Something there that you've not done ever before in your life. No. Took a little you, bit could of you tell? Used to. No, not at all. You covered it up very well. So, a couple of takeaways if you ever have to do this again. I yep. imagine you'll be trying to avoid it all yep. costs. But a couple of things with your stance. <laughs> <laughs> Important to get your weight over your front foot, so yeah. hinging from your hips, yeah. shoulders slightly forward, also getting your head into the gun matter, That's rather made than, a big yeah, difference. Rather than yeah. trying to mount the gun high in your shoulder and roll and your just... head over. And again, trying to get you away from moving on the sound of the trap rather than when you yeah. let the target come. When you moved early, you're always out in front of that. Got there in the end. Yeah. Thank you. But no, yeah, cool. lots. I'm, I'm just kind of quite trying to compute everything. But what I didn't realise is actually how many different thoughts on different stands of actually, you so know, it like, kind of makes sense, but it's... Yeah, like you said, with, with playing golf, it's kind of the same analogy. You're swinging exactly. a club, but depending on the situation you're Driver, in and the club you're using, your stance your might pattern. be slightly different, yeah. your approach and your grip might be slightly yeah. different. And this is just another case of yeah. different setup, different fundamentals. Yes. The basics will always be the same but how you apply some of them might be slightly different. Yes, got it. Perfect. Well All done. right, on to the next. Yeah.
going to come and shoot some long crosses now. Right. A little bit further away than everything you've done. Yep. You're also going to have to get used to the idea of seeing a bit more lead, so getting the gun further in front of the target. So when you shoot stuff out at this distance, you've got quite a lot more time and space than you've been used to. Mm -hmm. I want you to get comfortable with the concept of using that time and space to keep applying your lead gradually, because what you'll find is if you just try and punch into a spot in front of the target, mm -hmm. the bird always catches your gun up and you miss behind. Got it. So I want you to try and build some momentum up, a bit like we did with the driven, connect to the target reasonably early, on a long positive stretch away from this. This you're gonna have to get oh, six, seven foot in front of, so it's quite a long okay. way. Wow. So to get that far in front, you've got to give yourself time to get there. Okay. Okay? All right. Give it a go. Pull. Nice enough move, double the lead. Double the lead. Yep, push away, better. Right, so lead on that shot, whatever you saw was much more like it. Just a bit above. A little high, yeah. I think that might be my pesky eye coming out um, again. I think that's more of a case of on that the eye thing is not so much going to affect you on height, but getting your head into the gun. You know how we're that's working it, earlier yeah. on about getting you locked into the gun properly? Yeah. That's what you're going to have to work on. Okay. okay? Pull. Good shot, so hit the back edge. I almost feel like I've got to wear a patch, it's so <laughs> annoying. You can. <laughs> you can. So I want you to do exactly the same movement, but spend what you think is a little bit longer. Yep. And during that time, that's gonna give you a longer stretch. Because okay. one of the things you'll find is if you just try and shoot it faster and faster, it's almost making the problem worse because the bird is quicker, it takes more lead, so it kind of exacerbates the problem. Got it. Connect, long stretch. Yeah. And when you get it right, it should feel like you've got lots and lots of time. Got okay? it. Big stretch, brilliant shot. Stretch away, yes, fantastic. Just giving you that time to accelerate away from the target, see the lead opening up, two foot, four foot, six foot, bang. Got it. There's some targets where you've seen what you do naturally is really, really effective. But part of this will be learning where it's not and where yeah. you've got to do things slightly differently. Exactly. And on this bigger distance stuff, longer move, seeing the picture develop, yes. stretching leads out. Yeah. That's what it's about. Great couple of shots, let's do some more. Yes. Got it. Awesome shot. Okay. And that was great. You connected near the target, big yeah. stretch away. It's kind of weird though, that all morning, because I have been closing that eye, yeah. it feels like I'm not using it, if that makes sense, yeah. even when it's open. Yeah, and I mean, to be fair, this is a sort of target where if you did keep both eyes open, it isn't necessarily going to hinder you as such, because what's happening with this, is as I've said, with two eyes, you'll find the gun's being pulled across your face. Mm -hmm. What it's doing on this target is helping to give you lead. Give me lead, Not yeah, necessarily exactly. saying it's the right way of doing it, but on a bird like this, you will find it's probably less of a hindrance. Yeah. If it was coming the but other way, right. you might find it was a bigger problem because it would mean you'd have to give it twice as much lead. Yeah. And if it was a straight target, you may find that really confuses you. So yeah. it's not going to be as apparent a problem here because it's kind of working with the target. The movement is looking miles better. You move yeah. away from the bird and your momentum that you're driving away from the target is 10 times better now. So that's brilliant. That's the stuff to it take It feels away. so much better as well. And even when you miss, you look good missing. So that's the, that's the main bit. Stop. <laughs> All the gear and no idea. I like saw you whole... do this, and I want to learn how to do this. Right. So More this than is, shooting. This is, this is the highlight of the day, <laughs> is, is learning how to eject your cartridges with style. Yes. Okay, so I'll take a couple of shots, yeah. and I'll run you through your options of looking stylish whilst <laughs> okay. ejecting empties. Okay? okay. Option one. Yeah. God level cartridge slapping. Okay. So, oh, give me a go. As soon as you open up, yeah. don't just rip the gun open because they'll come and hit you in the face. Yes. You'll just crack the gun a fraction. Yes. Palm up, and as the ejectors kick in, let them hit your hand, push them away, look like a superstar. <laughs> okay, I'm going to miss take, the two If you targets, take nothing away from today but just this, this, this will be a success. Open it a little bit. There we go. Oh, it's half. Halfway. It's a bit pansy. That's fine. That's a little bit of a soft start. It's, a bit it's of a okay. Pansy. You're learning the moves, you're learning the process, just like shooting. You're halfway there. We're going to start refining it down, both shells into the palm. Oh my God! Oh, <laughs> third time lucky. On the plus side, two excellent shots on yeah, the loop. Yeah, yeah exactly, because I wasn't concentrating. See, now you've, now you've got your muscle memory dialed in for that. We've just got to yeah. work on the most important part. <laughs> I think I've got to get it further away. So I think you want to get your, ha get your hand closer because you've got less margin for error. You might be getting affected by windage. <laughs> hand close and 
I it, can't do it like that. Oh, it's sort of indirect. I'm going to try and catch them. Right, we're going, we're going full on advanced. Yes, is that advanced? Because I think I just look like I'm hitting it with my handbag. Oh! Mm, they come out quick. It's not as easy as you think. <laughs> I'm going to have one more go. I think I know what I'm doing wrong. You're not catching them. That's the main bit. Oops. Got one. One of them. Yes! <laughs> ah! On your next two, just shoot them and eject them. And you'll catch I'll them. I'll see if I can catch them. Ah! Oh! <laughs> There's some things you can't teach. Yes! <laughs> Thank you so much. No, it's been an absolute pleasure. Honestly, been really good fun. I've learned so much. It's just been awesome. Your kind of guidance is That's brilliant. Been an absolute pleasure. You've been uh, you've been good fun to good fun to help. Okay. Yeah. Well, right. I've got to say it. But yeah, you've got to yeah. say it, exactly.